What's up, everybody? It's me, Riva, back again with another video. If you are new here, my name is Riva, and I am here to give you my full thoughts, my opinions, my feelings, my reaction to this video. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into this video, but make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Um, as we can see, there is a question on the screen, right? So it says, do some black women have an issue serving men or men that look like them? So we're going to hear... Uh, this very intelligent lady's perspective. I don't believe some of our women have an issue serving men. I believe some of our women have an issue serving men that look like us. Because some of our women will go out there and they'll serve men that look nothing like them. Yes, sir, I'll open up for you. Mm-hmm. You need me to come in early? Okay, yes, sir, no problem. Is there anything else I can do for you, sir? Well, let it be someone who looks just like you. Y'all, this man is tripping right now. He wants me to come in at six to open up. Can you believe that? No, I'm not doing it. These people too much. It's like we've been conditioned to think that serving or submitting to men that look like us is an issue. But we'll faithfully submit and serve to men who look nothing like us. Men who continue to shackle us and conditioning our minds to think that my black is less than. Some of y'all don't even realize the royalty that lies within our heritage. And some of you might not even care. But if we want to see a strong black nation, we first must reestablish order. Make submission and service to righteous black men great again. I think she hit the nail right on the head. Boom. Like didn't even didn't even wait. Didn't even, you know, there was no thought that had to go into it. She didn't have to deeply, you know, analyze the situation and come up with excuses or come up with other situations. Like she genuinely just hit the nail on the head. And this is something that I've talked about so many times. I'm sure a lot of other people have talked about that. First of all, okay. She's saying black women, right? Because she is a black woman and we're talking about the situation at hand within our relationships, within our marriage rates, within, you know, just what we see even on social media, on reality TV, all of those things, right? And it's sad to say, but I think, like I said, I've said it before a million times, how many women are willing to go above and beyond for the person that is paying them? Right. The person that who who is giving them a paycheck at the end of the week or end of two weeks, um, they are very it's not hard for that man to get respect from that woman. Right. She will respect him. She will show him honor. She will serve him if need be. If he says, go get me a coffee, she will go get it and make sure that it's prim and it's clean and it's, you know, a polished cup just to provide for him. She will go above and beyond for him. And that's the man who is signing the paychecks right may not even know her name really but to the man who is actually intimate with her to the man who will die to protect her to the man that will is providing for her in the house sense to the man who is willing right to um put his resources on the line for her children maybe some children that she didn't even that aren't even his okay if we're going to be really really real to him, it's always, well, why can't you fix your own plate? Why can't you do it? You have two legs. You have two hands. Why aren't you able to do this? Why aren't you able to do that? And it's so difficult for our women, right, to maintain relationships, to be with somebody because of this very, very reason. <laughs> very reason. And it's devastating. It's devastating um, to our men because they, they're witnessing it. Then when they go to your work parties, right, when they go to the Christmas party or the event and they hear the honor and the esteem that you have for this man, this man is looking at you like, well, who the hell are you? <laughs> I wish I had this woman at my house that you guys have at the job that's so willing to pick up shifts and, you know, give her all. And then when she comes home, she's nasty to everyone in the house would never show appreciation to me like she does this man who is, again, signing the paycheck. And I think a lot of people would say, oh, that's not true, or they're going to try to find some kind of way to nitpick this conversation or try to find a way to divert it back to it being the black man's fault. But it really is just about honor and respect and dignity. And if we want to be real, a lot of women don't respect the men around them because they never saw their father around they never saw their mother respect a man. They never uh, saw their grandparents, their grandmother respect a man. So they feel like, why should I? They've been sold the whole narrative. Of, oh, all men are going to do is just hurt you. 
So they will go in whether they divest, right? And then treat that man better than they would treat their own man. Or they will still treat other men better and still only be in a relationship with a black man, but still treat him less than. Oh, did society say that you weren't anything as a man? You not. But you my man, so, you know, whatever. We're going to have to deal with this however we're going to deal with it. You're, you're not deserving anyway, so take whatever treatment that I give you and don't ask me any questions and don't set any standards and don't tell me what I can and can't do and don't try to rule over me and don't try to control me and don't ask me any questions and don't, and don't you dare ask me to submit to you because it's a privilege that I'm with you anyway. That's how our men are treated. If I gain weight, so what? You can't say anything about that. You don't have the right. If I stop wanting to sleep with you, oh well, you can't have a complaint about that. And also, you better not cheat either. I love when she said the fact about, you know, restoring honor and restoring um, leadership roles. There are roles. And it's funny because in other communities, they definitely have this issue. Don't get it twisted. White men, Asian men, um, Hispanic men, like no matter where you go, other men have these issues. They come on my platform and they say it all the time. But she's talking to women who are like us, right? Because when you look at the grand scheme of things, our women, when it comes to how they feel about our own men, it's a drastic difference in other cultures. They show their men respect. They show their men honor. And it doesn't have to be their own man. It can just be a man of their culture. And how they treat one another is very different. If we want to see different, if we want to see different results in the future, if we want to see better, then of course we have to start with changing the way that things are done. Because we are honorable people. We are respectable people. The main issue is that some of us don't know that. And they act accordingly. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I genuinely want to hear your thoughts, your feelings, and your opinions. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you are not following me on Instagram, my Instagram is at R-I-V-A-H underscore J-O-R-D-O-N. Hit that post notification bell. I post a video every single day, but the time varies. But if you hit that bell, it will notify you as soon as I post. Thank you so much for watching. Love you.